in just two days. And this all comes as a task force reveals how they plan to combat crime. But tonight, 41 Action News questions whether those recommendations are really enough to get the job done. New at 10 o'clock, 41 Action News reporter Tom Dempsey worked to find out. Tom. Well, Mike and Rhiannon, the Anti-Violence Task Force came up with these recommendations while inside City Hall. But in areas where crime regularly happens in KCMO, like the areas the East Patrol monitors, some say those recommendations don't go far enough. I will be walking home and then people will follow me, they'll call my name, they'll follow me in cars. 21-year-old Justice Francis lives and works along Independence Ave in the old Northeast neighborhood. No one here to do anything. There's prostitutes, there's guys picking up the prostitutes all day in the morning and the night. After a year's worth of meetings, a 19-member task force just recommended close to a dozen ways to make Kansas City safer. The ideas include a public service campaign on anti-violence and adding more community resource centers. But in areas like this one, the recommendations don't seem like enough. Doesn't make me feel any better. How soon does this area need help? Now, like today. Business owners and people we talk to in the area hope for more policing, but others say more must be done. But as far as like attacking the situation, no, I think we have a long ways to go. Former gang leader Osco Bolton says a path to peace involves reaching out to those involved in crime. And talk to him about the why. And I believe you can get stronger, stronger answers and understand it from that level. Complex problems of crime that Bolton says could be better understood by going out to communities and getting close to those impacted by violence. And these are the people that's going to stop the violence. It's not going to be your people with the PhDs. As 2016's murder count approaches 100, Bolton says the task force provides a good start to helping Kansas City become a safer place. This task force, it says there's hope because that means somebody wants to do something. Others we spoke to said uh, doing simple things like adding more street lights to areas would help them uh, feel safer in their neighborhoods. The task force will finalize these recommendations by early November before presenting them to city council. Live in KCMO, I'm Tom Dempsey, 41 Action News.